What's going on guys? Uh, I'm super excited about this video because I'm able to finally, finally, finally uh, drive my GoPad. This little sucker right here. If you didn't see the last video, I finally installed the uh, new engine that I got for 75 bucks. If you didn't see from last video, I installed the new engine uh, brand new, but I bought it used for 75 bucks. Now it's not as strong as the Predator 75cc that I wanted, but it's still a two-stroke, um, and it, so it kind of goes with uh, what it originally had. Yeah, it uh, it runs. It doesn't run as well as it should. I can only suspect that it's because of the exhaust, the muffler. That little guy right there, if you could kind of tell, it doesn't really uh, match with the new engine. This one's really, this is old, um, but it's the only thing that I have that fits it. It uh, doesn't fit it as well as it should but you know it's better than the alternative which is not having one but yeah it, it runs really well uh, just uh, the acceleration from a dead stop it kind of hesitates which I can only assume because it's it's a two-stroke uh, 50 cc or 49 cc engine so it's not really meant for doing uh, pulls it's more meant for like uh, assisting you once you're once you're going you know you the first pedal you you kind of give it with your foot and then from there on out the engine does the work uh, but anyways, this is going to be the first ride that I'm going to take around the neighborhood. I have taken it around down and up the driveway, uh, but not for extended periods of time. So uh, before I do that, I'm going to check all the bolts, make sure they're all tight, uh, and then get going. I'm actually going to wear my little GoPro around my neck. Um, hopefully it doesn't vibrate too crazy, um, but you guys get the gist. Uh, it's going to be super loud. Originally how the exhaust was set up on this thing, is kind of weird. Uh, the original engine had a hose, a metal hose, that went from the exhaust into the frame. Now if you guys have never seen anything like this, this is actually the first for me, uh, this is the hole that the exhaust goes into, and I can only assume that it goes out of that little hole right there. But uh, when I had the other engine on and I had it running for like the two minutes that it was running, I didn't feel anything coming out of the end. So that was weird. I don't know where else it should go. Uh, maybe it slowly leaks I don't know but I actually do want to inevitably have the exhaust go back into that hole because it does make it quieter and it does kind of give it a low rumble which is in my opinion is pretty cool also think so too nobody oh, yeah How did the GoPad run, you might ask? Marvelously. The uh, the top end on this thing is pretty pretty dialed. It's pretty scary. I'm not gonna lie. It vibrates a lot, uh, but not as much as the old engine did. So yeah, uh, I would say on a scale of one to ten, um, ten being the like vibrating beyond control, where bolts start flying everywhere, I would say it's a four or five. So like right in the middle. Um, but with that being said, this thing is really fun. It's really loud. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. This thing is, uh, I passed by a brick wall um, in this clip. <laughs> yeah, even to me, that was pretty, pretty loud because the muffler was facing the wall. So the sound was coming back to me. But anyways, uh, yeah, I think with the muffler, uh, the muffler issue, uh, as well as it being a brand new engine, 
the lady that I bought it off of said that she never used it. I think with the combination of the muffler and the engine uh, never being ran, it's brand new, uh, so you know parts haven't worn in yet, is the reason why I have the problem with acceleration. Um, so I'm gonna give it a couple of uh, couple hours uh, with the engine being on. I'm not gonna go. I, I kind of regret going full throttle on some of those clips uh, because I realized that the engine hasn't been worn in yet, so uh, I don't want to damage anything prematurely. Uh, but other than that, man, this thing is really, really cool. I kind of don't want to get rid of it. I kind of want to actually install one of those uh, seats. I've seen some of the gopeds that actually have a seat coming out from the middle and sit about like right there. But the problem with that is, is I, I want to be able to fold down the forks, these things. Uh, simply for storage when I go camping in my little camper thing uh, I want to be able to put it in there this dog acts absolutely hates small tires when they're turning I mean when I run this thing on the driveway and down this dude just attacks them isn't that right don't you attack them don't give me that look anyways uh, yeah that's pretty much it. I just want to throw this video out there to show that this thing is finally running I was really lucky to find that engine actually because no one had it. No one around here had it. No stores had it. Um, so yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.